There's perhaps nothing more controversial right now in the waxing industry than double dipping. Today we have Holly Hayes from Caron Lab who's going to take us through the practice of double dipping and whether or not we should be doing it in our salon. So Holly, before we get into the question of whether or not we should be double dipping, can you tell us what double dipping is? So double dipping is when the therapist uses the same spatula multiple times mm -hmm. to apply wax to the client's skin. So for example, we would apply one piece here. The same spatula would then be used to pick up more wax and, go and be applied right. exactly to that same area of skin. And then go back in and put it back in, you could do exactly. multiple times. Exactly, so this same spatula could also be used to do the leg wax, potentially also bikini wax, it could right. even then go onto the face. Right. So why are salads still doing this? So many therapists believe that the wax is kept at a high enough temperature in the heater that all potential bacteria and germs would be killed off in the wax heater. However, some other therapists believe that this is the highest associated risk with waxing today. So Holly, why are some salons still double dipping? Well, many therapists believe that as long as there is no blood drawn or we are just waxing a body area, so for example, leg waxing or arm waxing and it's not an intimate area, that it's perfectly fine to use the same spatula. So what do you think? Do you think that we should be double dipping? The answer is no, definitely not. In this day and age, we should not be double dipping. Many years ago, we used to not wear gloves. Wow. We used to double dip the spatula, also maybe use a metal spatula and even recycle wax, believe it or not. This day and age, there's a real demand for single-use implements mm -hmm. and the way that the world is going, everything in the salon will be eventually single-use. Wow, so what does that mean? What, how, how do we work that? So that means that we should be using the dip and dispose method when it comes to waxing. Right. So that would mean not using this spatula again. We mm -hmm. would throw it in the bin. It's gone. We would pick up a new spatula for a new piece of wax, applying it to a different area of skin, mm -hmm. and then completely Throwing dispose it away. Of it. Yeah. Right. So that way there's no cross-contamination between what's been used here and what's going back into the heater. So the wax is totally clean and hygienic. That's right. Guidelines and regulations will differ state to state and they can also sometimes differ council to council. So it is your responsibility as the therapist to find out what your local guidelines are and to adhere to them. To exhibit how diverse this thinking is, in some areas of the world it is completely against the law to double dip, whereas other areas of the world it is still accepted today. For this reason, it is our responsibility and when you're attending training and seminars, please remember that they are there to just teach you a technique or how to use their product. It is your responsibility to find out the guidelines. So what's the general sentiment amongst consumers these days about double dipping? Well, these days, consumers are much more aware of what can harm or affect them. They actively seek information in the media and they will be looking out for these practices such as the dip and dispose or the double dipping. So, for example, many salons are now promoting that they actually don't double dip. Right, so they're actually using it as a marketing tool. Exactly. It's good for business and it will get more foot traffic through the doors. Right, so no more double dipping. For more tips like this, keep watching PBTV, the only destination for professional beauty advice.